Hello, this code example shows how to uh, to realize uh, modific uh, resizable frames in uh, in a web website. What you see here is the example uh, where I have a big container and inside the container there's a small that's a small diff container. Uh, there we have when we click on the image then you will see that's a resizable frame in there and as soon as I leave the container uh, the images will be um, deleted or not the images the frame the frames resizable frames will be deleted so I'll I will explain you how this works so what we have here is, uh, and, and the code is on my website, you will find the code uh, as always below the video, that's the code. Now we go to our website, uh, to the code. What I have here is the button, where I said in this case, uh, it's a, a test button, I'm loading the page and then I'm installing the, with the test button, this, uh, the script. And the script does the following, as soon as I click on uh, on an image, so this is the add-on listener. So this does the following, that's a button, and it says uh, set events on all images, on all images inside that container, images on the click event, uh, at the event that it uh, surrounds that stuff with a frame. So that's the set event on, uh, give me the container, that's the big one, then give me all images inside and then it says uh, add an event listener on there which is the click event and do it only once. That's the code on there, you will see it like this, that's when you click on it then it makes a, this, uh, then it listens on the click, that's what it does at the moment. Then it does, uh, it that's the in event name, so that's a click, uh, and then it says add a sizable diff around it. So this is now the method which I wrote there. When we click on there, when the event is bubbled, then the bubble uh, source is the image itself. So I have the image at the beginning and I say what is my width, and uh, I'm styling it with uh, the width in 100%, so it's maximizing on a, rounding, uh, on a surrounding diff element. So now, then I say create a new diff, make it content and editable, I don't know if it's really necessary, give it a name, a class name, and then say, say resize both and overflow. So resize both means uh, when you click on there you may resize it in both Si, uh, both direct directions. And then I say the image which we had before is the image of the new diff. We say a little bit padding uh, and a border, so this is red border and a padding so this uh, right angle, uh, edge is more visible. And then we have this uh, stuff and as soon as we take this, as soon as I have created that stuff, I will say append it to the parent and then drop the image inside there. So this that's the this, the, uh, the this element, the this is the same as image. And then I said okay when I installed that stuff then I said uh, also um, add a listener on the container itself, as soon as you're leaving with the mouse, then remove all images. So this means if you clicked on there, uh, now you see the frame is still there when I, uh, even when I'm in my uh, container. As soon as I'm leaving it, then those elements, the frames will be gone. So that's what the stuff does in here. It says, okay, remove all images give me the container, give me all elements and then uh, remove that child by, by itself. So that's the image, remove my, uh, my diff 
and remove it. So you will find the code completely on my website, uh, on Kodoku in this case, or in the German website. Uh, and if you need help, then you may ask me 